My name is Marianne Broadman. I'm from uh, the Medical University um, of Graz in Austria. Uh, I'm the head of the uh, Department of uh, Vascular Medicine and Geology, as it's called here in Austria. And I'm focused um, uh, on endovascular therapies in patients with PIT. This is my main research area. So with regard to the IMPIC Global Study, this was um, a global uh, uh, study registry where we included uh, all kinds of patients with PAT and above the knee disease uh, who had uh, either Rutherford uh, 2 to 4, but we also included some Rutherford 5 patients. And it's a real world registry with a lot of uh, sites all across the world representing the patients uh, really uh, needing uh, endovascular therapy. And we evaluated the impact uh, admiral uh, drug coated balloon in this uh, real world uh, patient cohort, uh, which is in my opinion, more representative at the end of the day as a randomized controlled study, because it shows the patients we are treating uh, every day. And with regard to this, we were able then to have some subgroup analysis in the IMPIC global study. Uh, and this is really very uh, helpful for us in our daily practice. Uh, why was it important um, to look at this cohort, especially about the cohort of, of females and diabetics, is that females are usually underrepresented in all kinds of um, trials. Why this is the case, um, especially for uh, above the knee disease with claudicans, Female more often uh, show up in the different hospitals at the uh, more diseased um, uh, stage of the disease. So a lot of females present uh, the first time with critical lymphocemia. And in all the trials with claudicans, females are underrepresented. The percentage of females is usually around 30%. So it's very important to look at the female cohort because females also have usually worse outcomes than males because they are smaller arteries. And as I already have pointed out, the disease is already at the more, uh, uh, more um, aggressive uh, stage. Uh, and with diabetics, yeah, but diabetics, this is another uh, issue because diabetics usually have worse runoff and therefore also worse outcome uh, with regard to the endovascular treatment. And the population of patients with uh, uh, diabetes is increasing worldwide. And therefore we have more and more diabetics in our trials and more and more diabetics uh, where we need to do endovascular therapy. Therefore these two cohorts, the subgroup analysis of these two cohorts is so important. The key findings were that um, with regard to the female subcohort and the diabetic uh, subcohort, uh, the outcome with regard to the treatment, especially the long-term outcome with regard to the treatment with the impact admiral uh, TCP was fantastic. So females and diabetics have a better outcome if they are treated with a drug-coated balloon um, than before. And this is really encouraging and very helpful for us for the future as we face more and more uh, patient groups where we need to do endovascular therapy with regard to females and diabetic, the diabetics. From this data, the conclusions um, which can be drawn and made in females and diabetics, a drug-coated balloon is very efficient, also with regard to long-term outcome, with sustained long-term outcome, and it's safe. We didn't see any safety signal because still, uh, at this day, we have to discuss the bucket ductal safety issue. And that's the point. Um, in this impact global uh, study in total, we didn't see the safety issue, of, which is uh, um, which has been reported by Katsanos in 2018. Um, and uh, in this real world registry with a patient cohort like females and diabetics, who very often have a lot of comorbidities and therefore might have worse outcome, we didn't see uh, any safety signal. So bucket ductal coated balloons in females and diabetics are safe and very efficient. I would uh, conclude uh, this interview uh, with a take home message that um, in more and more complex patients and females and diabetics, especially females with the smaller vessels and diabetics with worse runoff, 
uh, a really uh, a complex patient cohort. And this complex patient cohort, um, I uh, feel very confident to use the impact uh, admiral TCP because it really shows no safety is issue in the long term, in the long term follow up, and shows really a highly uh, efficient uh, outcome also for the long term um, follow up.